Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Dig, with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, we ended up here on this crazy alien planet because after diving into the deep dark depths of Attila the asteroid, uh, we found some odd projections on the wall, we pushed them, we made together a little puzzle, and that for some reason sent the asteroid flying across space and turned it into a giant crystal thing because that is of course what happens when you when you do such a thing it's 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 all in the books people it's all science uh so yeah we're now in a probably a different galaxy universe we're, we're far away uh, fortunately the air is breathable and we're all we're all safe and uh made it out alive except we are now kind of trapped so i guess with that in mind we should probably start exploring everything around us uh yeah, this place looks very... Ooh, and it sounds very creepy as well. Alright, let's have a look. Platform. I guess this isn't a natural geological formation, right, Brink? Look how close the stones fit. Like ancient Peruvian masonry. So it's primitive. There was nothing primitive about ancient Peruvian masonry, Commander Lo. There was nothing primitive. Okay. <laughs> um, space suits. Hmm. Okay, that's very good investigating there, Low. Well done. Jetpacks. Hmm. Really? You think they'd be? Hmm. You think you'd be able to do something with jetpacks in this situation? They they do sound quite important. Uh, but we have lost a lot of our stuff. The zero G digger's gone. That stuff was related to the bombs, so we don't have that anymore. Yeah, we're we're back to the bare bones. Hmm. Hmm. I'm copying low. Uh, oh, what's that plant? With my luck, this is probably the alien equivalent of poison ivy. I don't think I'll touch it. No, that's probably a good idea. I'm. So, I, I got a bit distracted by his eyes. When when the characters are face on like that, they look a bit skull scully. Their their eye sockets. It's, it's a bit creepy. Don't. Yeah. Move, because I don't like the way you look. Uh, Robins? Robins. Have you got... Uh, what should we, let's ask her a question. Is she doing okay? You're doing okay? Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. This is the greatest story of my life. The only trouble is, I have no way of telling it to anybody. Well, that was actually the same question. How about that? Um, yeah, I know you... Look, she's going to keep on blabbing on that she's a journalist and she needs to spread the news. But you can't at the moment, love. All right? So just calm down. Uh, let's go and explore Thanks. anyway. To... Thanks. Where are you going, Lo? I was gonna check for water, or some way out of here. I think we should remain together. Fine. Follow me. This is no longer a space expedition, Lo. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. <sighs> it's been like two minutes, and we're already fighting over who's in charge. This is the human race, people, in all its glory. So here we are, we're in the middle of this giant kind of quarry. I don't know what it is, we're talking about space things here. Big hole in the ground. And we have got, ooh, a question mark? A question mark. And another question mark. And that seems to be about it. Yes, apart from some crazy kooky patterns on the wall. So let's go over here first. Let's see what this first question mark is. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That's oh, lovely. I love it. Fantastic. Look. More proof of alien life. Do you think there's anyone or anything alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful or gone. Ah. <sighs> Well, that's fortunate. First thing we find is a spaceship. I mean, granted, it is broken down, but it, it proves that there were people here, and, uh, and you know, maybe we could get out 
There's engines. Let's go have a look at this thing. This alien technology is hopelessly ruined. Damn. Can we go inside? I think we can. Just keep checking everywhere. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you tell anything about what these people look like from the interior of their ship? All this rust. Corrosion. Perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything. Okay, I can I can warn you now. What we're going to go do is disturb stuff. Because uh, that's how we roll. So, what have we got in here? That's back outside. A chest. Well, I don't see any treasure. But there is something in here. What is that? When we get back, the engineers are going to have a field day trying to figure out how this worked. Device. Hang on a minute. Device. Some kind of device. I have no clue what it might be for. Okay. We'll come back to that. What else is in here? What was that? Hanging wire? We might need this wire later. I'm going to see if I can pull it down. First, shouldn't you turn the power off at the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. Oh, yeah. Ha. Huh. Stand back in case something comes down on our heads. So awkward. <laughs> Look at it. It's beautiful. Changing shapes, mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer display. Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, well then, just for future reference, Nobody pull his finger. Just, just say. You could get some creepy stuff. It still might be useful. Okay, so we have some wire. So yeah, that that ghost thing. I, I will keep on saying this game is weird. It, it, it there's a there's a weird blue floaty ghost hanging around, and uh, we'll see him or her or it. I don't know. It's a ghost. Uh, a few times. Uh, it also dropped. Well, it either dropped or it turned into this thing as well. Did any of you see? Was this here before that thing appeared? Of course it was. Do you think an electrical field can carry a solid object? Well, we saw it. We saw it drop. It made a little ding as it dropped. And it is an engraved rod. It's a rod. Engraved. Five geometric shapes. Okay, can we, can we look at it any clearer? No. All right, fair enough. Um, all this stuff we just have to keep keeping our inventories, waiting until we need to use them. Maybe uh, is there anything else in this spaceship that we need? There's a chest. Mm -hmm. Pixel hunting. I do not think there is. Robins. And eh, now we we'll talk to you later. Screw you. Let, let's move on to the other question marks. We've uh, <laughs> we've already met the ghost. That's good enough. There's another engine up there. Is he just going to say it's broke? These engines are enormous, but there is no evidence of any type of combustion. No scorching, no oxidation. The design of this ship is not consistent with the vast geometric structures we've encountered so far. So this ship is not from around here? Not in my opinion. Perhaps they were stranded here, much like us. It's a possibility. Ah, so we may not be alone as uh, as lost tourists, <laughs> in a way. Uh, yeah, let's let's go back to the uh, the clearing and go to the other ones. So, if you're wondering about what that blue electrical field is, don't, because uh, <laughs> in terms of answers, yeah, you, you get answers in this game. But I think a lot of it is left up to just I don't know it's it's all very 
I, I haven't played a game like this before where it's just so... It's so... Uh, oh, get over there, come on. So strong in its own sort of story, it doesn't it doesn't help you. It's no helping hand. It's like yes, you will you will, you will accept that there was a floaty ghost thing, and you will enjoy it, and you will move on. Um, it it stays by this this whole storyline very strongly. Not just plants, but creatures too. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Mark us. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. Ah, oh, okay. So these aliens who, who whoever live here believed in gravestones. That's interesting. And there's also little rat things. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Grave. Eyes. Ooh. It looks like something is buried here. Eyes. What is the little thing? Something's looking at me. Oh, that's creepy. Tusk. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. Do we just do we just take that? I was going to look at it, but we're just kind of man. We're we're like digging up graves now. In fact, I think they're going to tell us off for doing that. Can we? Uh, talking of digging up graves, can we just go straight ahead? Are you just going to dig right in? With a shovel? You will destroy the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero who destroyed precious data at the first alien archaeological site. That's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never heard from again. Now get out of the way if you aren't going to help, Brink. This might take a while. What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know when an alien bone will prove useful. Okay, so can we pick up some bones? Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. Oh, oh, jawbone. The jawbone's connected to the pile of dirt. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's a strange-shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. Oh god, what if it was someone's pet? That's very sad. We just dug up an alien pet. Use your bone with bones. That doesn't seem very intuitive. Uh, let's have a look at them. Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. All right, you've already said that. Thank you. Okay, I think with that, that's probably all we can look at in this. Hang on, didn't want the little alien things run in there. No, we can't go in there. Um, so let's. Oh, don't go over there. I didn't really want you to look over there. Let's head back to the clearing somewhere. There we go, and we'll head to the last question mark. Well, this is what this is what point and click is all about, people. You know, you just go around and you collect random stuff, and you think, oh, that may be useful at some point, and then half of the stuff isn't because they're all red herrings. I should be used to this by now. I've played enough of them. Do you think we could climb this slope? No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall. Are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? <laughs> mm-hmm. You're the one who's supposed to do languages. Come on, Robbins, get on with it. Robins. In fact, let's uh, uh no, let's never go on with this. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Let's let's go on with this first. Then I might talk to you. Um, so we have anything here to click? I know we do. There's something here. Uh. Oh no, I I know what we need to do. Let us have a little go on this device because we can actually use this. Watch. It seems to be pointing at this mound. Aha, now we can click the small mound and because I told you about this shovel, this shovel is our best friend in the game. Uh, we can now use it to dig up this small mound. With that device pointing at this mound, I suspect there might be something buried here. 
How scientific of you, Commander. Another random hole bulldozed by our fearless leader. Maybe not. I thought I saw something shining. An artifact. Yes, yeah, it's, it's right there. It looks like a bracelet. Okay, bracelet. Let's have a look at this. It looks like a bracelet. <laughs> how many how many different ways can you say that? It looks like a bracelet. Okay. Uh, that's good. Oh, so by the way, what I actually did then, you can use this thing, and it's almost like a compass. Watch. It's pointing at me. You see? It points at things. So, we need to use this strange device to find our way around at some point during the game. Um, as for this other stuff, well, we'll find a use for it eventually. And I think that is all the question marks explored. Oh, and we're going to talk to... Eh, let's head back to the centre first. We're going to have a little chat to Robbins or, or Brink. Although Brink's being very tetchy at the moment. Uh, so that was the grave. That's the dirt ramp. That was his wreck. And this is the daze? I'm not even sure what that word is. I think we can safely say this is not a natural weather phenomenon. How about a mirage? Anyone voting for it being a mirage? It knew we were here. It was trying to tell us something. Or show us something. Don't be too quick to anthropomorphize. How do we know what life looks like here? It might be alive. Or it might be some kind of automatic guidance system. We triggered it in that ruined ship and now it's leading us. You mean this is the last gasp of a holographic tour guide? Or the Port Authority. Maybe it's telling us we're under arrest. Come quietly or self-aiming lasers will toast us to cinders in 15 seconds. Stop it. Maybe you can think that's funny, but the last thing I need is some mischievous boy trying to give me the creeps. If I wanted to give you the creeps, I'd tell you that it was the ghost of a long-dead alien. How do you know it isn't a ghost? What? You think this is where aliens end up when they die? If it is, then this place better be hell, because it sure isn't my idea of heaven. Now you're starting to give me the creeps. <laughs> this is the type of top-notch banter <laughs> we have in our in our crew. <laughs> what banter? Uh, so yeah, there's a ghost again. Told you he'd pop it. Well, I keep saying he, but I told you it would pop up again. Uh, anyway, yeah, I wanted to quickly chat to Robbins. Robbins. Strange lights. Assuming it was sentient, what do you think that thing was trying to tell us? Commander Lowe makes a concession. Since this is a momentous occasion, I'll tell you that I think the spot it was pointing at might be interesting to look at. Ah, okay, yeah, it was sort of like hovering around this area here. And what about you, Brink? Thanks. Thanks, Robbins. Brink. Strange lights. What do you make of the last ghost event? Maggie may be right. It could be sentient. But one does not judge too hastily. There you go, once again. Yeah, you know, there's always a German there to uh, to just you know ease off. Let's think about this, uh, even though we're not going to think about it. We're going to ignore you, Brink, because I think thanks. that uh, yeah, thanks. I think Maggie's onto something, and uh, we can now click this small hole here, and maybe with the use of our trusty shovel, dig down and see what it was pointing to. But we will do that next episode. Until then. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!